When the female reappears, it becomes clear that the proximity of livestock is not the real reason she's here. So I was concentrating on getting shots of a snow leopard, and this I was stood by my side. And he went, there's another one. And I was going, shut up. It's like, it's not. And he said, there's another snow leopard. I was going, what? And he'd seen a snow leopard moving inside the cave. And then suddenly, from that hole, pops out this face. And you could see it was a juvenile. It just had this lost look about it. And I, I was in fits. I mean, I was like jumping up and down. And Mark was going, oh my God, oh my God, let me frame her, let me frame her. The next time Mark and Nissar find them, the young male cub has grown in confidence and is venturing further from the cave. He seems to have taken a dislike to the local magpies. learning. Everything he was doing, he was mimicking the mother. Now, she doesn't like magpies either, but he was looking at them as playful things. She probably considers them, you know, a nuisance. There is playtime, and then there are times when a young snow leopard needs to pay proper attention. Whenever she went hunting, there was this amazing uh, communication between them where she'd take a few steps, he'd start following, and then she'd just turn around and look at him, like, and he'd just look at her and then just slink away and go back and sit in the cave. Obviously, there was a training going on which was not hands-on. It was, look, but don't come near me. A one-year-old cub needs as much food as its mother. With two mouths to feed, the female is under pressure to kill regularly. News of an even more brazen attack on local livestock is of great concern to Nissa. This is the lady. When she came in, she pushed the door open. And the minute she did that, the leopard jumped out and pushed her back. She fell down and fainted and the leopard took off. This one's actually been eaten from the back. It's pretty gory right now. Nissan knows a killing spree so close to where the mother is hunting is dangerous. She'll be blamed even if she's not the culprit. That if he goes up again with his livestock and the, the leopard comes back, what is he gonna do? And he's, he's saying that I'll just have to shoot it. With so much at stake, it's a relief when Mark gets concrete evidence that the mother can provide for her cub from the wild population of Marco. Her prey weighs as much as she does, and dragging it up a slope as steep as this must take enormous effort. It's imperative she gets the carcass back to her den so that her cub can feed undisturbed by scavengers. But a single markor won't feed the pair for long. Within a couple of days, she'll need to hunt again.